Hey, what's up? Uh, Basic Nick here. In this video, I'm sure you how to get custom error pages for your website. Uh, now we're going to be do doing this with HT Access, an HT Access file. Uh, so if you go to my website, nickfrosty.com, and uh, since I'm hiding uh, PHP extensions, I don't have to type anything in. Uh, but you can see this page, it definitely does not exist on my website, and it gives us this nice custom error page. Um, so this is a 404 error, and what a 404 error is, the most common of all the uh, <coughs> HTTP errors, uh, and what it means is that the file is not there. So I'm going to show you how to get some custom error pages. Now, in your HT access file, uh, you want to put this line of code right there. That single line of code will give you an error page, a custom error page. Now, obviously, you have to have that page created. So, yeah. Um, so, we have error document, and the E and D right there are capital. Uh, this code will be in the description. Um, and then we have 404, and then we have this. Now, what the error document is saying is it's saying that um, for any error pages, uh, like um, other uh, so many different kinds of errors and different numbers um, it's hard to list them all but uh, it's saying we want to make a custom error page and then 404 is the number value of the error and now there's all like I said there's all kinds of different errors uh, there's uh, different ones in the 400s 300s 500s whatever uh, there's all kinds of different numbers but that's the number of the error and then this is the location of the error page itself that you want to display uh, if an error occurs so mine is in my errors directory and then it's called 404 now since I'm using the hide PHP extension uh, code right there uh, what that's doing is it's making it so I don't have to put the PHP extension so I don't have to say dot PHP uh, but I could if I wanted to it's not required since I'm using the uh, HT access for that. Um, so yeah, that's how to get a custom error page. Now, if you want to um, get, have multiple errors, uh, if, well, you don't want to have multiple errors, but if you want to have multiple error pages just in case, um, then just put in the number, uh, like 500. That is, I believe, internal ser server error. So that's a problem with uh, whatever, uh, like an HT access file. If you have bad code in your HT access file then uh, you'll get an internal server error, which is a 500. Now, oftentimes, at least for my web hoster, my web hosting, um, 500 errors, um, internal server errors, what they are, um, it doesn't use a custom page, even if I specify one. Um, so yeah, it kind of sucks, but it's still nice to have it just in case. Uh, so yeah, that's how to get custom error pages on your website using HD Access. And I forgot to mention that the code for it will be in the description.